This morning marks the one year anniversary of the death of George Floyd. Here's a live look at Minneapolis where the governor is asking for nine minutes and 29 seconds of silence at one o'clock this afternoon. There are several events happening around the country and right here in the metro to mark the anniversary. Our Ryan Dean is live at Washington University with efforts there to remember George Floyd. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, Rennie. So in about two and a half hours, the Diversity and Inclusion Center here at Washington University will take Black Lives Matter flags. They will put them in the ground and they will form nine minutes and 29 seconds with the flags to recognize the amount of time former police officer Derek Chauvin's knee was on George Floyd's neck. There are several marches and rallies around the country. And of course, there are events happening in Minnesota today, several events planned. This is video you're seeing from over the weekend. They've actually been having held, holding events since Sunday. Candlelight vigils are also planned this evening in that city. Now the push around the country since Floyd's death has been for racial equality and police reform. One of the events happening today on the anniversary is a virtual day of action. It's a national effort by the George Floyd Memorial Foundation. It's urging people to use social media and contact lawmakers to pass the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act. It includes determining the standard for charging police officers with crimes and charging with and changing the policy of qualified immunity so officers can be sued in civil court. Now, Floyd's family is scheduled to meet with President Biden today to talk about uh, police reform. As for Derek Chauvin, he was he was found guilty last month of murder in George Floyd's death. He is scheduled to be sentenced next month. That is the very latest. I'm Ryan Dean, five on your side.